hesitation free, immediate digging down into Khalib's poetry. Huh? He's a very famous Urdu poet, which was liked by Master Darshan. Digging down through glares of loneliness, don't even ask her. Huh? To get from night to dawn is to carve a channel through stone. Mm -hmm. The wild rush of ardor, you ought to see it. Mm -hmm. The sword's breath is drawn out of its breast. Mm -hmm. No matter how awareness spreads its net. net. My realm of words hides the imagined bird. Mm -hmm. Why is he hiding the bird? Khalib, even in bondage, I am so aflame with restlessness. Every link of my chain is a fire singed hair. Remember how Darshan would talk about restlessness a lot? He probably learned, picked this up. We're looking at the, the roots of the literary poet Darshan Singh. In Kalib, in a dream, my mind uh, did business with you. When my eyes opened, there was neither profit nor loss. <laughs> do you think, uh, what's that like to where you do business, but there's no profit and loss? <laughs> in my mind, a dream, my mind did business with you. When my eyes opened, there was neither profit nor loss. <laughs> Poem 8. The joy of the drop is oblivion in the river. Pain that passes all bounds becomes a cure. My fate with you, like a combination lock, was written at the moment we clicked to part. Hmm. In the roughness of the cure, the heart was finished off uh -huh, before it could be opened. The knot was rubbed away. Now we've deprived even of cruelty, O oh God, to become such an enemy of true lovers. From weakness, weeping changed into cold sighs. Now I believe it. Water can turn to air. To erase from my heart the thought of your hennied hand fingers was to rip out the flesh, the fingernail. To me, the pouring down of the spring clouds is a weep to death in the grief of separation. If the rose scent doesn't long for your street, why does it make itself dust in the path of the breeze? Uh, hmm. Do you think it does that on purpose? If the rose scent doesn't long for your street, why does it make itself dust in the path of the breeze? Uh, the glory of the rose bestows a taste for spectacle, Khalib. The eye should, no matter what, be open to see the wonder of the longing for polish. Look how in the rainy season a green film forms on the mirror. Hmm. 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 Poem 9. Again the time has come for the wave of wine to take flight. Flowing by, may it give us wings, the wave of wine. Ha! Huh. Why? Don't ask why the garden dweller, dwellers are so drunk. In the shadow of the grapevine, the air is a wave of wine. Whoever is drowned in wine has a happy fortune, even passing over the head. It's a huma's wing, the wave of wine. This rainy season is that kind of time. 
The bounty of the air makes the wave of life a wave of wine. For the typhoon of joy, from the typhoon of joy, a whirlpool rises up. Waves of rose, waves of sunset, waves of breeze, waves of wine. When the spirit of the garden thirst for airs and graces is calmed with the water of life by the wave of wine. It runs so much in the grapevine veins turning to blood. With this long collar feather it takes flight the wave of wine. Through the rose wave, the pathway of thought is a lamp show. So radiant in the mind is the wave of wine. In the veil of intoxication, it's absorbed in the flow of thought. It has such a mind for flourishing the wave of wine. The ro rowdies of the mood of Roadies of the mood of spring are at their wildest from the wave of verdure to the wave of wine. It explains the commotion of life. <laughs> commotion. That's a favorite word of Rajinder. He thinks there's a lot of commotion. <laughs> it explains the commotion of life. <laughs> Bravo. Rose season. It guides the drop to the river. Well done, wave of wine. Seeing the glory of the rose, my senses leave me. Asad, that's a pen name for Khalib himself. Again, it's time for the wave of wine to take flight. <laughs> you understand it or have interpretation or... We're going to read the Urdu. <laughs> In the world, there are other very good poets, too. <laughs> of course, there. they say that Khalib's style is something more. There's something more to Khalib. <laughs> From 12, I am neither the flower of music nor the string of an instrument. I am the sound of my own breaking. Hmm. I remember in the poetry of Darshan, he talks about a breaking string or something. Hmm. I am the sound of my own breaking. We're looking for the epistemological sources of the poetry of Darshan Singh, an Urdu poet, from the works of Khalib. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The predecessor. I am the sound of my own breaking, you an adornment of twisting curls. Mm -hmm. I and long faraway apprehensions. Mm -hmm. A show of dignity, a deceit of simple-heartedness, I and secrets that burn in my breast. I am captured by love of the hunter, otherwise I still have strength to fly. May the day come when from that tyrant I would endure coquetry instead of the longing for coquetry. In my heart, there's no drop of blood with which the eyelashes haven't played rose games. Oh, your sidelong glances utterly arousing. Oh, your cruelty entirely overthrowing. You've shown yourself in glory. Congratulations. An outpouring from the prostrations of the forehead of humility. You have shown yourself in glory. Congratulations. An outpouring from the prostrations of the forehead of humility. 
<clears throat> if you had asked about me, I wouldn't have done any harm. Uh, it wouldn't have done any harm. I'm poor and you're a protector of the poor. Asadula <laughs> Khan is done for. <laughs> is that? Must be a pen statement for him. As, as, I remember Asad was Kalib. Asula Asadula Khan is done for. <laughs> Alas, how rakishly he charmed the ladies. Maybe he charmed the ladies hmm. with this poetry. Hmm. Hmm. Is that the purpose of the poetry? Poem 13, For the Free. Grief is no more than a single breath. That's an interesting line. If you are free, let's say you're spiritually free, then grief may only last a single breath. With lightning you light the candle in the house of mourning. He disorders gatherings, the card player of thought. We are the card shuffling of the marvelous tricks of an idle house, despite a whole world of commotion. <laughs> Here we have the commotion again. <laughs> despite a whole world of commotion, nothing emerges. We are a lamp display in the bedchamber of the heart of the moth. It's from weakness, not satisfaction, this abandonment of the search. <laughs> I am a butterdon on the resting place of manly resolve. Uh -huh. These statements are, this poetry is very, uh, I don't think we can read it that fast. Uh -huh. yeah, we'll have to do in-depth analysis. Uh -huh. Thousands of longings serve life sentences in it. Oh, sad. I consider my blood-filled breast to be a prison cell. From practice and being beside myself in the garden of thought, I know how to interpret the weedy dreams of strange greenery, the wild disorder of the twists and turns of existence. Don't even ask. We are like madman's hair, a disgrace to vitality. Hmm. So like a disgrace to vitality. <laughs> Fifteen, don't stint on wine today for the sake of tomorrow. This is a bad faith towards Ali, the cupbearer of Kassar. Why are we debased today when till yesterday you forbade the insolence of an angel towards dignity? Why does life begin to leave the body at the moment of hearing, if that voice is contained in Lut and Rebek, the steed of life is in motion. Let's see where it stops. There's neither a hand on the reins nor a foot in the stirrup. It's the measure of how far I am from my own reality, the way I'm agitated by the illusion of the other. The root of witnessing and the witnesser and the witness is one. But I am amazed, and how to account for the witnessing each other? The ocean is composed of the show of forms here, how to think about drop and wave and bubble. Shame is one form of coquetry, even before oneself. How unveiled they are, who are this, th who are like this within the veil. She's not yet finished, adoring her beauty. There's always a mirror before her within the veil. It's the most hidden of the hidden, what we take to be sight. Well, still in a dream, having dreamed of waking up, Kaliba, from a friend's companion, comes a whiff of the friend. I'm devoting myself to God and serving Ali Bu Tarab. We read from the poetry of Kalib. Hmm. That's a first attempt. <laughs> hmm. 